So yesterday morning, I got up and did something I hadn't been wanting to do. I got out all my craft supplies. And I made myself an eye patch. Didn't want an eye patch. Didn't want to look like a dang pirate. Wanted to look like a woman. But Jerry was running errands and I was at home. And I got out the craft supplies and I put this one together. And he got home and I went out to the van and I said, okay. I used craft supplies that could be used for a garter belt. Do I look like a pirate anyway? And he looked at me and he said, yeah, you look like a pirate. There were women pirates. It looks good on you. So he likes the strong piratey look. I can live with that. Hi, this is Lucy with Big Dream's Little Homestead. Ah, and I got some unique things to talk about this morning. Well, I've had this cataract surgery and it didn't go right. And I knew I shouldn't. I knew the risk was high. And the doctor knew the risk was high. The doctor should have known better than to do it. But I should have seen it coming too. I wanted to go into the last days, not just useful, freaking indispensable. I wanted to hunt squirrel with my blowgun. I wanted <sighs> I wanted a lot. And ever since June 22nd, when I had my eye surgery, I have been in pain. I wear shades whenever I can. I can't wear them inside. <sighs> I was trying to avoid putting on an eye mask, an eye patch. I didn't want to look like a pirate. <sighs> One day, just the other day, as we we're driving home from Walmart, well, I was sitting in the passenger seat, Jerry driving, just holding the brim of my hat down to block out the sun. Jerry said, Are you humming? And I started to say, No, why would I be humming? And then I realized, I was humming. Oh, Gigi then turned around me. And I thought about it, and I realized I was humming a single note, just a and it was vibrating the muscles in my eye. 
and releasing the squint. Because with eye pain, it's like that. The, uh, the pain makes you squint, and the squint is painful. And I can't quite express what this pain has been like. Can't even compare it to natural childbirth, because I went and had two C-sections. But eyeball pain is a heck of a thing. And I started to manage the pain with the hunt. I would just sit cross-legged in my armchair and hum that one note and release the strange squint and melt away the pain. I have no idea where this came from. I'm not going to say, get yourself a mantra and start chanting. But soon after I realized I was humming, <laughs> I remembered hearing. I used to watch those dumb factoid videos on YouTube. I remembered hearing. Research has shown, which usually means it's BS, but research has shown that cats that hum, I mean, cats that purr, heal faster than cats that do not purr. And that's a heck of a thing. That starts to talk about harmonics. Now, I believe in creation. I believe in a creator. And I believe that we were created more amazingly than medical science will ever admit. Like the word says, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. If anybody's out there that can find a use for a hum, heck, we all gonna be in a position soon where if you don't take what's on offer, you ain't getting no medical care. You ain't getting no painkillers. You ain't even getting no antibiotics. That's why I was in a hurry to get the cataract, cataract surgery out of the way. Girl, what you finding interesting down there? It's called a tuft of grass. Yep. Here we again. After Jerry caught me humming, I started using it. I found it quite useful. Maybe it'll come in handy to somebody out there. If you're having a lot of pain, you might want to try it out before you have a lot of pain. You know, you just get a headache and just, well, here's a flower I can sit next to. Just sit down cross-legged. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. 
We are carefully and wonderfully made, so each of us may have a different note. The mind at this point is... But it works. You might want to see if it works for you. <laughs> Maybe it's silly. But silly works sometimes. I will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. 